Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells and I have an interesting video for you about eBay watchers. This information is updated as of June of 2020. So here's what I did. On my Facebook group which has 35,000 sellers, I created a poll about three months ago, so back in March, to find out why sellers watch items on eBay. That could be other sellers items or just items in general and including me because I intentionally put myself out there to help educate other sellers and I know a lot of my watchers are not real buyers and they are sellers that have no intention of buying what they're watching. They are just watching what I'm doing and that's perfectly fine. So I created this poll with these different options to find out why sellers are watching other sellers items and just any items they may be interested in purchasing. So we can get a handle on this because if you are using the send offer feature you're probably sending offers to people who are completely not interested in that item. They're just watching it for educational purposes. So I'm just kind of a detective that way and was interested in how many people are doing that. So I let the poll sit for a little bit and had 572 sellers respond to these different options. And I wanted to share the results with you to enlighten you on why buyers and other sellers might be watching your items. So the first option with the least amount of votes was to be notified when it sells. Only four people out of the 572 chose that option so only one percent of this sample is watching for that reason. Next is to see how long it takes to sell. That had 34 responses or 6% of the total sample here. Next is to see if they send me an offer and for how much. And I've personally heard that from other sellers. They'll tell me, oh, I'm watching your items because I want to see how low you go on your offers and what kind of offers you send on different items. So that was interesting. 35 people responded to that one, which is 6% of the sample. Then there was the catch-all category of other. So these folks did not elaborate on what the other is. If you are one of those people that chose other and your reason is not listed here, I would love for you to share that in the comments and educate us on what those other reasons might be. 45 people responded to that choice, which is 8% of the sample. The next one is to bookmark it to look at several listings at the same time. So for comparison purposes, 63 people chose that option or 11% of the sample. And I do that sometimes when I am trying to research something that is hard to research or as a buyer if I'm looking at different options. So I've done that one. The next option is to bookmark it to look at it later. 92 people chose that one or 16% of the sample and I've also done that one because you're interrupted, you've got to go somewhere and you just want to come back and look at it later so you just hit the watch button and it's saved. And finally the last choice to see how much it sells for. 299 people chose that option or 52 percent of the sample. So this tells me that over half of the watchers have no intention to buy the item. They simply want to know what it sells for and that's very enlightening information especially if you are one of these people that is constantly concerned about how many watchers your item has because based on this very small sample of only 572 people 
over half of them admit to having no interest in purchasing the item. So that should take that heavy weight off of your shoulders that, oh, I've got 10 watchers and no one's buying this item. Well, guess what? If you use this information, over half of them have no intention of buying the item anyway. And they could be watching it for any of these other reasons listed that has nothing to do with buying it. So the reason I'm doing this video is to help you understand that, again, watchers don't mean anything on your item. When you go to your active listings view and you sort by number of watchers, it's really invalid information in my opinion because of this survey right here. These are all the reasons that people could be watching it and they have no intention of buying it. It's not something you should concern yourself with. Your focus should be finding great items, getting them listed, shipping on time, providing outstanding customer service, responding to questions quickly, all of that customer service stuff that you can control because you can't control how many people are watching your item and you can't find out why they're watching your item. You can't communicate with them. You can't ask them questions unless you're sending them an offer and in that case uh, you really don't want to use that platform to ask questions about why are you watching my item. You just hope they're going to buy it. So just take that with a grain of salt that watchers really are not an important factor to pay attention to. Now for those 299 people that participated in the poll and for any of you watching that are watching sellers items to see how much it sells for may not realize there is an easier way to find out that information so that you don't have to be a watcher and you don't have to get these offers that you don't want in the first place. So I have a video on that and I'm going to show you an excerpt of that video here so you will understand how to follow and watch other sellers by using the tools that eBay provides without having to be a watcher. So here's that clip. I have a free research strategy to share with you. This is a way you can learn from experienced sellers. You want to watch what they sell every day so your research is more thorough. Now some of you are going to comment, oh this is stalking, why are you stalking other sellers? Well you can call it whatever you want. You can call it stalking, you can call it research. But this is exactly how I learned, is by watching what other people do and seeing what what's sold and all this information is available to anyone you're not doing anything underhanded you're not being a slimy troll um, it's it's all just right there you can see it bottom line is it's a great way to learn so you can grow your business you can test this out by following me if you aren't already and I'm going to use myself as an example because I'm totally fine with this and you know I already have thousands of people looking at my store so it's no big deal to me so here are the steps to follow if you want to um, save a seller and then watch their progress. So you're going to want to pull up their store and I've got the link to my store below the video so you can practice on me. And you're going to see underneath the, their description this little blue text with a heart next to it that says save this seller. Okay, when you click on that the heart's going to fill in it's going to say saved okay so you've saved a seller alright big deal now what <laughs> uh, go over to my eBay on the top right of any eBay page and go down to saved sellers now this demonstration is for the desktop version I'm not going to do a demo for mobile because it just looks different on different types of phones or whichever iOS you're working on that type of thing so you can figure out the steps on your mobile device there's just too many variations and that would make a really long video then you'll get to a page that shows you all of your saved sellers and there'll be a whole list there now to get to the sold items over on the right under actions it says view sellers items so just click on that and it's going to go to 
that seller's active listings by default. So you're going to have to scroll down to find the sold listings. So you just scroll down and over on the left you see the little box you can check that says sold listings. And then they all pop up. They will be in descending order of most recent to least recent and they go back 90 days. So you can really study the sales of a particular seller, how many items they're selling a day, how many offers they're taking, all of that kind of information. Now the one problem with this is it does not show best offer prices just as no completed listing shows the best offer price. So you have to do an extra step there if you want to find that out. And that extra step is using watch count where you enter the item number as you have seen me do several times in my sales update videos. We all wish that eBay would provide that information for us on the completed listing page, but as of now, we have to do this extra step to find out the price of an item that sold on a best offer. Okay, the bottom line, because I am a bottom line person, your watchers may not be buyers at all. Another reason not to pay attention to them. Go ahead and send those offers to watchers, but don't dwell on why they aren't buying. Because, according to my very small sample and my little experiment, over half of them may just be other sellers watching your items who aren't going to buy it anyway. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that scientific information. I would love your comments below as always and be sure to follow my store. Have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye!